Now, if you've got to make a lot of repetitive cross cuts, well, there's nothing like a power miter saw. But if you don't have one of these, you can get really accurate results using a circular saw and a speed square. Use the speed square to draw your cut line. And then use that same speed square as an edge guide. Now, most saws have a notch that shows you just where the blade's located. So place the notch on the cut line, the edge of the base up against the speed square, and make your cut. Can't get much cleaner than that.